Cape Verdean. Full of people from all islands of South Pacific deep sea. Some man is still in Olgata. More for some Olgata, long work, long all plantations, low Australia, more Fiji. Only talk talk all different languages. More only no savvy understand them Olgata. Slow, slow no more. One mama language is start to come out. After all mania, savvy talk talk long Olgata. Time where Blackbird didn't finish. Only go back to home place, Blong Olgeta. More land with Yahweh sound all same English. It spread to all Melanesian islands. Vanuatu, he got Bishlama. Solomon, he got Pidgin English. Mo Papua New Guinea, he got Tok Pidgin. All people today, he sing out them, all men, long all place ya, won't talk. My family moved to Vanuatu when I was 12 years old, and I instantly fell in love with this country. When you get to explore its raw landscapes and are based in the genuine joy of its local population, there is a moment of realization that you just might have reached heaven on earth. In fact, even though I'm sure many of you didn't know Vanuatu existed until just now, it was ranked several times happiest place on earth by the Happy Planet Index. And so I fell in love with the many forms of expressions of its powerful local culture. I mean, how could I not when you experience such a thing as the black and white snake dance performed regularly on our island? I also became fascinated by the way the inhabitants of Vanuatu perceive time in a vertical manner in order to be more anchored in the present moment. But what I most fell in love with was its incredibly accessible and welcoming national language, Bishlama. Bishlama looks like this. As you can see, it's a very graphic and straightforward language. If I tell you, for instance, Migo lo San Beach, lo Luk Luk, lo Solwata, you can easily understand that I'm going to the beach to look at the sea. So if you want to understand Bishlama, which I'm sure a lot of you do by now, I'm going to give you a few guidelines. The most important word to know is blong or blow. Blong encompasses many things. Most of the time, it refers to possession or origin. So for instance, to, or, from, of. But you can basically place it anywhere you like, and it will always work. For instance, nem blong mi tes. Ting ting blo sherem. It's an idea. We're spreading. Place, blow peace, peace. This means a place to pee, a toilet. <laughs> now, although Bishlama generally chooses fewer rather than more alternative for words, sometimes the range of available options can be unsettling. For instance, with pronouns, where all of a sudden things get very specific. You have mi fala for myself, mi tu fala for me and one other person, me three fala for me and more than two other persons, and me fala again for more than for me and more than two other persons, and the list goes on. But the great thing about Bishlama is that there really is no right or wrong. Every interpretation and figure of speech is possible and open to play with. Um, so now we've covered a bit of grammar, and we're going to look at some vocabulary. Some words are beautiful by their sheer simplicity. For instance, number one, which is the number one, the best, <laughs> easy. Or friend versus bad friend, friend versus enemy. Why do things more complicated than this? And some words will require more of your imaginations, as they are rather poetic descriptions. So for instance, basket blotiti. It's a basket for tits. It's a bra. <laughs> <laughs> easy. Raba, blong fak fak. Rubber for fak fak. <laughs> what could this be? And now, let's try something more difficult. Mix master, blong Jesus Christ. So what could this be? Mix master, it's a mixer maybe, something spinning, but 
Jesus Christ is involved, so maybe there is something religious to it. Well, it means helicopter. <laughs> Just imagine the confusion. The person who saw a helicopter for the first time must have been in to name it, such, to name it in such a way. And now I'll share one of my personal favorites. He got one big fella black bookies. Emi got black tooth, mo Emi got white tooth. Suppose you kill him, Emi sing out good. So this is a big black box, which has white, black teeth, and it has white teeth. Suppose you hit it, it sings out good. This means piano. <laughs> Could have guessed it. <laughs> so maybe by now you can understand a little bit my, my fascination for Bishlama. And as Vanuatu's UN ambassador put it in a speech earlier this year, and I quote, it may be rather difficult talking about space rockets or computer digital technologies with languages from Vanuatu, because certain ideas and concepts sim simply do not exist, end of quote. Languages, as we know, are an essential part of a country's cultural diversity. And although Vanuatu does not have space rockets, what they do have is over 110 spoken languages for 260,000 inhabitants. So if a country's wealth was measured by its language's diversity, this would make Vanuatu the richest country in the world. Thank you, Tomas. That's all.